Hey everybody, we're back. Um, so, we are back on Novice. Uh, we were up in space and we were doing all our sciencey stuff up there. Um, let's take a look real quick. Uh, what we got going up there. So, everything seems to be cooking along up here pretty good. Uh, if you remember, I moved stuff around to all of these. Um, and I've got uh, all of it going and what have you, and we've got it all straightened out. Um, one of the things I did is, where is it? It is somewhere around here. So there's one where we're cleaning up this uh, contaminated bio sludge. Um, I believe, yeah, here's the other one up here. We're cleaning up the bio sludge um, slowly but surely. So we're working through that. Um, the other thing we did is we started cleaning up our contaminated scrap. And as you can see, we have pretty much eliminated our contaminated scrap backlog. Um, we've also eliminated our scrap backlog as well. Um, so we, we kind of got rid of a lot of this and, and got it taken care of. Now, one of the things that that did to us is uh and we're gonna i'm gonna use the nav map to do this is we ended up with a backlog of scrap down here on novice that we had to deal with so i went ahead and i made uh a little factory if you will or whatever to deal with all this scrap and i basically just made a bunch more crushers uh, or recyclers so we're dealing with all the scrap now um, we had a backload of it, and it had kind of, kind of shut us down a little bit, um, you know. But we're we're getting through it now. We're we're turning it all into useful materials, so we got that going. <clears throat> um, and the other thing we did now, something we have to take care of. You'll notice there's no rocket here. Um, we have been launching a crap ton of rockets up to Claudius, up to uh, Perma-1 uh, in order to fuel the, the research up there. And I, I don't have much in the way of rocket part manufacturing. So we have run out of rocket parts. The other thing we ran out of is in launching all that scrap, I ran out of parts um, up there for rockets. So we've had to to ship some rockets up there. Um, the other issue was fuel. And I've solved the fuel problem. Um, we'll go up here and I'll, I'll show you what I've done. Is we are now making uh, butt tons of rocket fuel. This is, uh, we're bringing uh, crude oil in. We're cracking our crude oil, turning it into solid fuel. Um, I'm using the light oil and the uh, petroleum gas and turning them into solid fuel. I'm uh, cracking the uh, the heavy oil into light oil, and then that's going over and it's making solid rocket fuel. Now, solid rocket fuel will not go into the rockets by themselves in this mod. So then we have to turn it into actual rocket fuel. So this guy is turning it into liquid rocket fuel, which is supplying all of our rockets down here now. And we've got plenty of fuel. Um, so we're, we're good there. We're continuing to cook along on all of this stuff. Like I say, we are out of rocket parts. We have to uh, address the manufacturing issue with rocket parts. Right now, I'm not going to worry about it. If you'll notice, we're not doing any research right now because I just finished Astronomic Science Pack 3s. Um, and that puts us two researches away from Spaceship. Um, we have to do Aeroframe Bulkhead, and then we can research Spaceship. Um, which is pretty cool. I mean, that's we're, we're, we're almost there now. Then we get into all this other esoteric stuff that has to go into a spaceship. 
but I think from there we can start looking at building our spaceship. But we need aeroframe bulkhead. Um, and aeroframe bulkhead to build them needs aeroframe scaffolding. And the science itself requires aeroframe scaffolding. We, are, we're, we just researched it, we got through it, but we're not making it yet. And again, like I said, this is something I can make on planet and ship up rather than having to ship up the poles and the beryllium plates. We can make it on planet and ship up just the item. Um, even though we're shipping up poles and beryllium plates, I think it's going to save us to ship to build the item down on, on planet and ship it up that way. Um, eventually, I want to get this sucker. This would be is this is going to be nice. It's a, a supercharger. It's a uh, charging station for robots, but we've got to get our other other sciences up to speed to do that. Um, but it charges up to 64 robots at a time, which is going to be really kind of nice. Um, but having said that, we've got to get these these aeroframes produced so that we can get up here and we can get our spaceship. Um, so we have to go to that planet and we have to start manufacturing that. The other issue we have is up here on Bayonet. And Bayonet um, is having a power problem. If we go up here and we look, we got no power. Now, part of the reason for that is, if you look, Vionet's got a solar of 23%. It sucks for solar, but it does have uranium. So we, we did set up a plant, but here's the problem. Our plant got clogged. Um, we're not doing anything with the 238 and the 235. We've got all of it in here, and... I didn't catch it in time, so I could not put a bigger warehouse in here to store it. Now, we will use this eventually because we can send it other places. But we can put it in a warehouse and free up so that we can make our fuel. Problem is, I didn't catch it in time. So now we are clogged up. And uh, we're going to have to go there and physically fix that. Because I've tried to have... Uh, the bots build some, put some more, place some more solar panels, and I was hoping maybe we get enough of a charge that it would slowly but surely, you know, one panel at a time get enough. Didn't work out. We are we are clogged up, we are bound up, and we're going to have to physically go there to fix that issue. Um, so that's where we stand. That's what we're headed to go do. Um, we got a bunch more solar that we're going to throw down up there, I guess. I'm going to throw down some accumulators. I'm taking my spider trons with me. And we are going to start planet hopping, basically. Um, so we're going to go to Bionet. And that should be already. Now, we don't need anything else at Bionet. So we're just, we need the rocket to get there. I wish there was a cheaper rocket that we could use to get there, but there's not. So we are just going to go there this way. And we're going to go fix things. And then we're going to go from Vianet to all of our other planets. But we're probably going to stay in Vianet for a little bit once we get it uh, working again. So that we can set up the same uh, supply system as what we've got here. Only on a smaller scale, on a Vianet scale, so that it's going to supply one. So we're going to only really need like one array oh wow did you see that it's we're not even on the ground that it's already putting them down that was kind of neat um so let's uh let's wrap here put these panels down i know it's not going to be enough to get things going but let's at least fill this in we've got them in our pocket we might as well put them down all right so basically, what we have to do down here, and it's not going to do a damn thing because we've got no power. We have to go down here and we have to fix our reactor. Once we get our reactor fixed, there is a lot of uranium on this planet. It's not that we're hurting for fuel for the power plant. It's that we are hurting for space for... 
we're being too fit no we're being too efficient basically in converting over to um to our 238 our, our 235 rather and we've bound the system up we can't there, there's 238 sitting here but it won't go through this because of this um and this is something we've run into before on our main bus where if you pick off but you you prioritize once it prioritizes, it won't let the other go through um so I'm going to have to figure out a way so that we can split this better. But for right now, what we're going to do is we're going to fix it another way. And that other way is this right here. And if I could have gotten... this to work and you know what let's put this down over here so that we can empty ourselves out if I could have gotten this right here um, to work without having to come here if I'd have caught it in time right then we could have had that problem solved now see they're 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 getting a little bit of solar so they're moving real slow um but you know they're they're able to uh hopefully start doing this now i do not think that we can craft that in hand we have to craft it well maybe can we craft some in hand now that we don't have the the restriction of lazy bastard can we actually craft some in hand holy cow I didn't think we, I thought we had to do that in a thought that it would have to be done in a um, factory but apparently no so yeah so basically we are being too efficient with our uh, um, with making the, the what you call it One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we've turned too much of it into the good stuff and not enough of it into the bad stuff. And it's kind of left us in a bad spot. So hopefully now... we'll be able to clean this out and that's if that's more than 4k which Yeah, we got a lot of it stored away in here that we're gonna have to gonna have to clean up. But now we're making our fuel. And we can get back to work.
Oh, we missed these ones. So we had basically reached a point where we converted everything over to 235. We couldn't, you know, so we couldn't make any fuel because we weren't getting any 238 into the fuel processing. Now, hopefully, we'll do all right. And it should start sending it down through there. Once it replaces what these need, because it it, it it wore these out as well. Um, once this got bound up and it wasn't getting any more, these weren't getting any. And once it it just kept recycling until those were empty too. Um, so so these are going to have to refill with the with the crappy ore first um, before before the uh, fuel processing is going to see any of it. But hopefully now um, we'll have caught that back up. We got that going, um, so we can start uh, getting things processed here again. Um, luckily, we have not needed any cryonite uh, anywhere in our process. We've got we've had plenty of it that we we were able to do all the things that we needed to do but now that we've got that going I think what I'm going to probably do is to um, increase our solar up here we've brought it with us we might as well do it to where we can maybe at least do a little bit of Oh shit, we need to fix something if if it comes to it and we need to do it. What do we got sitting in here? And again, this is our back and forth across between our, our logistics system. Um, just as a reminder, so that we've got two separate logistics systems so that it's not storing stuff in storage that need, that's needed for the power plant, um, specifically uranium. What was that that just went by? Oh, that was a... Oh, because it's asking for shit. We didn't turn off the asking for. All right, let's get back down here and turn off the request. Because if we don't turn off the request, it's just going to keep filling it up. We don't want that. And we'll have to take the, the junk out of down there in a minute once it's filled its requests. All right, so let us go up here, deposit these solars, and then we're going to they're gonna take a walkabout on this base, see what this base needs to be updated, see what it's lacking, um, and... One, two, three, four. So four. One, two, three, four. Right? There we go. All right. So we're going to go up here. Uh, and fill this in. to start giving ourselves uh, the extra solar that we need to make up for any dip in power that we, we end up with. And then, like I say, we're, we're going to take a walk around Vianite, uh 
our bayonet, whatever it is, and we're going to figure out what we need here. We are going to <coughs> build ourselves um, the same logistical setup that we have uh, on Novice, only we're just going to do one section of it. Um, we don't need nearly the capacity um, that we have up there as far as uh, shipping off um, raw materials. But we do need to have some ability to ship off raw materials. on demand just like we do down at novice so so that's what we're going to build up here um just as a note uh and this is something that i know i've mentioned before we are now um like two days something like that away from um cyberpunk dropping so Oh, shit. I don't want that. Take, pick that back up. I was drifting. Because I'm still on jump jets. And we definitely need a lot of solar here with it only being 23%. So we're going to dump down as much as we can. Um, going to have to put in some put in some robo ports because uh, they won't reach otherwise. Just dump some down real quick just to have some reach. The, the, the four panels that we're not going to be able to put in because of it, I don't think is going to be that big of a uh, an inconvenience. Let's put another one. Come on there um, now we didn't we need one up here because I know we're not in in the system up here what that looks like yeah that'll get us started we got around that iron we got around the coal it ain't perfect um, but it'll do in a pinch and that should allow us to fill in the rest of the accumulators that we don't have avoid that coal
I know they're a little random in their placement. Um, again, I'm not... This is not about pretty right now. It's just about filling in where our uh, where our need is to be able to do this. So there we go. So that should get us power back um, and get us back into operation up here on Bayonet. Oh yeah, we're 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 much better off than what we were. Uh, so we'll just let that all fill in. We'll get out here and check on our plant. Make sure our plant's doing all right. And uh, we'll fart around with, with um, finding a way to, to, better, to better do this. Um, it's going to take a little while for, you know, these to put out enough to fill these up um, to make what we need to make. Um, but they are getting there. And they will fill up eventually. Now, we may lose our plant again between now and then. Um, but the, the used ones are coming straight back uh, and going straight back up into being turned into fuel. Why is that not fuel? Oh, because I hit the Alt button so it doesn't tell me what they are. All right, so that's uncanning it, putting it back up into here. That's putting it back up into there. So the fuel ones at least are going to go and be turned back into fuel. Uh, these ones were still waiting on these to fill up. But they're getting there, um, you know. We got a few more that we got to get through. But it's it's doing its, you know, it's doing its thing. So there's that, guys. Um, we are, like I say, going to be going through. I'm going to take a walkabout up here on, uh, on Vionette and see what I need to do um, and we're going to plop down a um, we're going to plop down a, a, a blueprint up here to build these rockets the way you know so that we can send them on a regular um, but I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and show you what we're up to and we're going to start planet hopping now I may not do that all on camera what I may do is just uh, because you guys you guys know what what the the launch system looks like now um, we're just gonna gonna blueprint it and drop it down um, so I'm probably gonna gonna go through here make the changes um, and then we'll go back and touch on the changes rather than watching me slog through all the changes we're just gonna make them because um, there's not anything really major going to be doing with that um, but I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys before um, before Thursday because come Thursday uh, I'm probably not going to be doing videos at all for a little while um, as I as I work through uh, playing the cyberpunk for, thing for a little bit probably take a week off from doing this and then I'll be back with back in a week um, but yeah there we go that's what we got going in the meantime, um, you know, you guys take care. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this a little bit, and then we'll probably do, I'll probably do one more update video um, before I go dark for a week. So, um, 
that's what it is. All right, guys, I will talk at you soon. Uh, you guys take care of yourself, and uh, talk to you later. Bye.